I mean, at that point, something is wrong, uh, in my opinion. So I asked him, what is wrong? Why do you want my ID three times? And he said, sir, I need to verify everything about, uh, about you. And if you're not happy with that, uh, that's the policy. And I said, well, I don't understand what is going on. I said, sir, you know what? I don't like your attitude. I don't like your face. I'm just going to deny you. Ramdan Belhabshia is one of the three Algerian Montrealers who were denied access to this gym, alleging discriminatory treatment, all by the same manager. Because I wanted to understand what's going on. I mean, how can I be denied from a gym? I have been for three years. I have my mask. I'm vaccinated. Everything. Uh, and he said he just denied me because he don't like people from the hood. Belhab Shia has been going to the same Econo Fitness gym near Berryukam on St. Catherine Street East in Montreal for the past three years. But in August, he was denied entry. He says the manager asked for his ID. He says he complied and the manager looked at it for almost a minute. After being asked to see his ID a second time, Belhab Shia says he offered to answer any questions and says the manager allegedly responded that he didn't like his face and he would just deny him. Then the manager called the police. Belhab Shia says the officers who responded to the call advised him to file a human rights complaint. Allegedly, the manager didn't give the SPVM a valid reason for his refusal into the gym. The person who denied you was not able to justify himself on how he, why he denied you uh, uh, the gym, the entry at the gym. Belhab Shia filed a complaint with the gym and hired a lawyer and filed a human rights complaint in September. He also took to social media to share his experience and another Algerian couple reached out to him saying they had the same alleged treatment at the same gym by the same manager. Samia Hasnoun says she went to the gym with her husband in August, but they were told the gym wasn't taking any new members. She was told it was a COVID policy. The manager started to get aggressive with us, telling us, listen, I have nothing to prove. I do what I want. And if you insist too much, I will be obliged to call the police on you. City News contacted the gym and asked about the incident and the specific manager. They said they conducted an internal investigation and did not find the claims of racial discrimination to be founded. The manager involved in these alleged incidents still works at the gym. In a statement, Renaud Baudry, vice president of Econo Fitness, says, we made sure to review all of our procedures with our employees so all our members feel welcome as we value this matter very much. We also sensitized the team on the vocabulary to adopt as well as the different cultural communities realities. For Belhabshia, he's moving forward with his human rights complaint in hopes of preventing what he says he experienced from happening to someone else. There's a lot of people that understood that he was like pure discrimination and racial issues here. Yeah. Uh, how can you how can you possibly be denied from a gym? So if it's not racism, I, I'd like to hear from Econo Fitness what it is. What was the issue? In Montreal, Wala Amara, City News.